Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of RM Cookbook. Hope you all been well and ready for another exciting new recipe from our channel. Uh, so today I'm going to share with you one of my wife's recipe. It's called Gourmet Sabzi. It is also known as uh, slow cooked herbs and meat stew. So without further ado, let me just show you what you need for this recipe. Here we are using around a kilo of lamb, which we washed and cleaned previously. And for the main herbs, we need uh, parsley, as you can see over here, a bunch of parsley and need some um, coriander. Again, the same amount of bunch of uh, coriander and some dill. Uh, we are going to use dried dill. Uh, these are the three main uh, herbs which you need uh, for this uh, recipe. You can also uh, use other things such as uh, uh, mint or basil. We actually use basil for our recipe. So first of all, we need to chop these um, uh, herbs, the fresh herbs, which is coriander and parsley. Uh, in a very small pieces as you can uh, see over here and uh, that's it and uh, and then we will put it aside and um, and other ingredient wise other dry ingredient wise we will be needing around cup and a half of uh, dill uh, two to three tablespoon of basil over there you can also see some cooked red kidney beans which we pressure cooked it four dried limes soaked in water and three large onion also uh, chopped up uh, into our food processor so then we get our um, frying pan or pot ready into that we add in our chopped um, onion saute it for a bit then we add in other uh, spices and the, the the spices would be one and a half a uh, tablespoon of salt, one teaspoon of red pepper, um, one and a half teaspoon of curry powder, and a little bit of uh, turmeric powder. Then mix the whole thing with onion, saute it again, and after that we add in our uh, lamb, which we pre pre previously uh, washed and cleaned and put it aside. Uh, mix this whole thing together, um, let it fry in high flame till the meat externally caramelized. As you can see, the change color has changed, it's no longer pink. Then uh, pour in some uh, water, not too much, just enough to just cover the meat as you can see over here on the video and just let it cook for 15 to 20 minutes um, on the side and we'll get ready to uh, basically saute our fresh ingredient which is fresh and dried ingredient together which is uh, mint, uh, uh, sorry, coriander and parsley and a little bit of uh, basil and dill um, till the color of the coriander and um, parsley become dark green and that's basically the amount uh, you need to fry not too much and once that is done bring in our meat as you can see in the video and add in all the uh, fresh and dry ingredient together cook it for another uh, 10 to 15 minutes at slow flame check the meat if it's done if it's done and that's the basically the time which is just 10 15 minutes before sorry 15 to 20 minutes before you add in the um, dried lime but make sure you puncture the outside so that the uh, flavor can uh, go inside and and then add in your red kidney beans the red kidney beans over here we already cooked it is pre-cooked so in our pressure cooker and that's it uh, leave it for uh, around 15 to 20 minutes more in uh, slow uh, fl i mean low flame uh, to slow cook the uh, stew and uh, soon enough uh, you will see that your uh, dish would be uh, ready for serving so this is a very easy dish it doesn't actually uh, take take that long to prepare um, but uh, because it's slow cooked you need to uh, give some time and soon enough you see that your dish is ready but the slow cooked meat is uh, very delicious and it's furthermore delicious when you add all this uh, fresh and uh, dry ingredient as we have done and as you can see over here this is ready for serving and uh, we have actually served it with some rice and it essentially goes with rice and to decorate the rice we also added some uh, saffron rice on the top uh, so this is how you can serve this dish which is um, called gourmet sabzi quite from um, uh, quite popular in iran and also people who tried it they primarily like it i like it <laughs> so uh, i hope you will uh, give this recipe a try if you did like it, uh, please share it with your friends and uh, family members. If you're a new um, uh, viewer to our channel, welcome. And um, and if you like our channel, please consider subscribing. And to our existing uh, subscriber, thank you very much for your ongoing support. And, um, and um, till the next time, take care.